Rahman Rahim, Honorable First Lady of Turkey, Honorable Begum Kulsoon Nawaz Sharif Saiba, Honorable Delegation of the Brotherly Country of Turkey, including the ministers of uh, the wives of all the ministers and the ambassador's wife, um, um, our BISP officials, PM office officials, foreign office officials, and especially our wonderful beneficiaries who are here today. I welcome all of you on behalf of Begum Saiba, um, uh, welcome you to the Prime Minister's office. We're very grateful that the Prime Minister has accorded us his cabinet room for this meeting. It's a great honor for the ladies who are the best beneficiaries to be sitting here today and for you uh, to be our chief guest today. Thank you very much for having um, accepted our invitation to be the chief guest for the BISP Women Empowerment Meeting. BISP is the largest social safety net and women financial inclusion program of the government of Pakistan. It is a unique program which has become internationally acclaimed since it caters to the ultra-poor women who need the support of the Islamic welfare state the most. In the last two years as its chairperson, it has been my endeavor to ensure that we as an organization stay on target in terms of its mission given to us by our Prime Minister, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. We aim to provide our beneficiaries dignity, empowerment, and meaning to life. In the process, we have distributed quarterly stipends worth Rs. 4,834 per 5.4 million beneficiaries from our annual budget of $1.15 billion. The amount is distributed through electronic means using mostly debit cards, which is one step forward in the financial inclusion journey. We have plans to make these transactions even easier by converting our total customer base to biometric payments soon. The impact of these funds on women empowerment indicators, on their mobility, on their voting rights, on their sense of dignity within their family, on the reduction of malnourishment, on poverty reduction, on savings, has been shared with, with all. These are statistics. However, in my humble opinion, what matters most which many don't get to see firsthand, but all of you, inshallah, will get to hear from these beneficiaries today, is the kind of women empowerment revolution BISP has created in Pakistan. BISP has a network through which it organizes its women beneficiaries. This network is based on the experience we have learned from Latin American countries of BISP beneficiary committees. We are in the process of building the capacity of our BISP beneficiary committees. It is a lifelong process, which all of us will have the humbling experience to contribute towards. Each committee has average 25 beneficiaries. They meet monthly for an hour at a committee leader's house, who is duly elected. Having attended many such meetings, I feel that this is yet another national asset for Pakistan that Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif Saab's government has created. The first national asset for Benazir Income Support Program is our database, which is a scientific survey of all households of Pakistan run through a poverty scorecard. This database, the National Socioeconomic Registry, is Pakistan's only database which is poverty graded. The second asset, which is also unique and which BISP organizes, is a network of women with 50,000 BISP beneficiary committees all over Pakistan in four provinces, two territories, FATA and ICT, with over 1.25 of these 5.4 million women. This network is used to spread positive women empowerment messages, primarily encouraging women to send their children to school. The value of the overall women empowerment messages cannot be undermined. I have often offered both assets to all our private and public sector organizations to use for Pakistan's development in return for valuable services for our women. Close to 70 organizations, public, private, all governments, use them. Today we are taking the opportunity of having you as First Lady of Turkey and especially our uh, Begum Kulsum Nawaz Saiba uh, um, that you're here, we're using this opportunity to launch a very special play that we first showed as three street theater in a big convention of 25,000 women in a district called Tata, and the president uh, was the one who inaugurated this last year. But today we have converted that play for you as a drama, and this drama will be shown 
After you have seen it, you will inaugurate it. And after you have seen it, it will be shown in all the 50,000 BIS beneficiary committees so that this message can reach out to all of us. Now, the importance of this in training is as follows. The BIS beneficiary committees are being trained on the new survey that we are undergoing. They're being trained on how to become part of the education uh, co-responsibility cash transfer program that we also run. They're being trained on hygiene. They're being trained on mother and child care health. They're being trained on Islamic women rights and progressive uh, women legislation that Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif Saab's government has, has uh, legislated. They're being trained on how to encourage other needy women to register with BISP and with other government welfare programs, on usage of their CNICs for voting, on encouraging women to register their children's B forms, on how to exit poverty by taking a prime minister interest-free loan, which is a very important initiative of the prime minister, on the importance of nutrition and changing in cooking habits to reduce malnutrition, on utilizing their skills for livelihoods through e-commerce, on how to use ATMs because their money they take out, these 5.4 million is mostly through ATMs, and how to count money because most of them are also illiterate. So the list is long. Uh, my, my dearest um, First Ladies, but this is a silent revolution that we are undertaking. And I'm extremely honored and I'm extremely humbled that we are here today and we will be inaugurating that play with you. But before we do that, uh, with, your, with your permission, Begum Saiba, and with the permission of the First Lady of Turkey, we would like to show you a BISP video, a documentary on BISP.